So let's talk about trade chat today. People are probably wondering, well, why would I ever go into trade chat? Why would I go into region chat? Why would I ever go into recruiting chat? Turns out there's a lot of potential for actually getting what you want. You might want to trade because you want platinum. You might want to go into recruiting because you need to set up a team. And you might go into region chat because you want to get chat banned. These are all valid decisions. So let's just fire up the trade chat here. And um, let's say I want to buy something. I want to sell something or whatever. And I'm taking a look at the trade chat and it's an unmitigated disaster. It's moving really quickly. Can you read that? I can't read that shit. Oh, hey, somebody had a Quanta Riven. Let's just, let's just scroll up here however long and just completely... And Did I miss it? Huh. Okay. All right. I missed it. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Gelacron. Oh, that's not bad. I might want that. But um, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to find that again if I scroll all the way back down, hoping that the person can type it back again into trade chat within the next two minutes, and I see it again. Um, Yeah, that's not happening. This is... Can you read that shit? I can't read that shit. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to filter out terms. So, there's an included whitelist and blacklist for search terms in Warframe. Most people don't know this, so that's why people are really scared of going into trade chat along with being scared of interacting with people in the first place. Interacting with people, it can be scary. Yeah, because you don't know how the person's going to react. You don't know what they're going to say or what they do. But at least you can get past the first part. You can at least boil down the search terms to show only what it is that you want to see. So you can take a look here. There's a small magnifying glass at the top right of your trade chat box. You click on that, and that's your trade chat filter. So let's say, so right now, you see the green check mark. That means it's the whitelist. You only see these terms when they show up in the trade chat. So I want to see that quanta ribbon. I only want to see the Quanta Riven. Quanta. All right. So after this point, it's only going to show me messages that include the word Quanta. Could be a while before that next person shows up, though. See, look at that. Trade chat just completely stopped. I only want to see people selling Quanta Rivens or Mutilus Quanta Rivens or the Quanta Vandal. That's cool. Uh, maybe this guy's not showing up anytime soon. Look at that. I got rid of my trade, my trade filter, and it's back to being an unmitigated disaster again. Let's go with something a little bit more reasonable. How about... I'm thinking to myself, I know I'm not going to buy anything. Okay. So I only want to see messages with want to sell. Now, if I want to, that's my whitelist. I'll only see messages with want to sell. But if I wanted to take the other approach, let's just click on this includes term. If you see that a black X, a black box with an X in it, that's the blacklist. That means I won't see these words. So let's try want to buy. As you can tell, not want to buy. I will never see this term and I should only see want to sell. Well, now I know. See? Want to sell. Still moving a little bit fast. All right. Um, let's see. I know I want to buy prime sets, so let's see prime sets. <laughs> hmm. Primed. So it's showing me prime mods. Showing me terms with want to sell. Okay, okay. Limbo Prime. That's a Prime set. So I'll be able to see messages that include want to sell or the word Prime. That's pretty cool. But it's still not quite what I'm looking for. Mm. Well, 
I know I'm not going to be able to buy Equinox Prime. I know I don't need it because let's say I bought the pack for it. Okay. I don't want to see Equinox Prime. Now I'll never see it again. Hmm. Getting a little slower. It's getting a little bit slower. So this is cool. So by combining the whitelist and the blacklist options, I can craft my trade chat experience to be whatever I want it to be. I can go want it to go as fast as I possibly can by having no filter set up, or I can make it go as slow as I can by only including search terms that I want to see. If I know I'm only going to buy a quanta ribbon, I can just have a whitelist only for the word quanta, and then I wait until somebody shows up with a quanta in trade chat. So let's try this idea with recruiting chat. Wow, that's moving almost as fast. Almost as fast. That's a little slower. This one's a little bit more reasonable because messages aren't usually multiple lines. What? Kuva survival, two out of four PM for invite. Hmm. Well, what's going on right now? Oh, the Balor from Morian event. Okay, so let's take a look at the Balor from Morian event. I only want to farm Balor from Morian, so I need the Omega Isotopes. All right, Isotope. I should only see people who are farming the Balor from Morian event. Probably not that many people, but if you notice, recruiting chat, that grinded down to a halt too. Man, people must really not like this event. Let's say I want to farm relics then. Okay. Well, let's slow down a little bit. Hey, what do you know? This guy's looking for a relic rad chair. Maybe I'll include that. I like rad chairs. I like radiant relics. So I'll be able to see the term ra rad chair and relic seems like a pretty good way to filter out my recruiting chat experience all right so that's how you use the trade chat filter other things to include here uh chat i can enable or disable where you can chat as i please um let's just assume that you're banned so We'll keep that off, because why recruiting chat? Well, do I need to see recruiting chat? I'll need to recruit myself into anything. Profanity filter? Hmm. Am I a 13-year-old edgelord? No. Okay. Timestamps? This is off by default. You want to turn this on so that you can see when people sent messages. You might be responding to an hour old message wherever. Inline private messages? This is also off by default. You want to turn this on because then it won't force you to, s because then it'll only show people messaging you in their own whisper box. So if my friend Bean wanted to message me, I would only see his messages in his chat box. If I don't have, if I have this option turned off, I'll see his messages in other boxes. Like if I'm going through trade chat, I'll see his private message. Active tab notifications only. This allows, this forces your chat box away when somebody else types to you. So this is, so you want to, you want to keep this off. You want to keep private messages on, but active tabs off. And then if the trade chat window was too large, all right, well, let's just put it down to 100%. Hey, look at that. My trade chat window is a lot smaller now. Oh, well, that's a little bit harder to read. But it's going a little slower. For me, I have a very different filter. And that's pretty much the basis of my filter. I never want, because I know I'm never going to buy anything from Trade Chat, but I do know 
that if I want to sell something to trade chat, if I want to sell something to randoms, this is what I do. Hey, what do you know? This guy wants to buy Exodia Force. I think I have one of those. Well, not on this account. So to review, if you want to have a good trade chat experience, you use your blacklist and your whitelist. Click on the magnifying glass and set up your filter. You can type in words to show what you want and to block out terms that you don't want to see. And that's it. See ya.